What is happening gamers? This is Bradley here. Welcome back to another news roundup. So to kick us off is that one of the things we expect from the Donkey Kong Country series is for them to be difficult. And that can be said for Donkey Kong Country Returns, where some of those levels were quite frustrating. But what about the upcoming Tropical Freeze? Will that be tougher than Donkey's? Well, according to Nintendo Canada's Matt Ryan, he feels that New Super Luigi U is tougher than Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Now don't go all bananas just yet and thinking that Nintendo is making the game super easy because that's probably not the case. You gotta keep in mind that Matt Ryan is basing his opinion off of his experience of watching the Nintendo Treehouse play these games. It's just part of his personal opinion. And I'm guessing he hasn't experienced what the whole game has to offer considering the game doesn't come out until February. And the difficulty will probably ramp up towards the later worlds, along with there being some difficult levels sprinkled throughout the other worlds as well. Plus, the producer for Tropical Freeze did state some time ago that they are keeping the standard Donkey Kong challenge for veteran players. So the game will still be challenging, and maybe it will be on par with new Super Luigi U. And in some news for the Legend of Zelda, Link Between Worlds has been revealed that in hero mode, enemies with the ill quad dribble the damage. That means if there's an enemy who takes away one heart per hit in normal mode, the enemy will take away four hearts per hit in hero mode, making things a little bit more difficult. But the more interesting piece of news for Zelda is that apparently there's some sort of secret for you to do besides just going through hero mode. Now we don't know exactly what the secret feature is going to be, but someone who has beat both hero mode and normal mode is stating that there's still something for him to do that will take a while to complete. So try to decide for that one. But maybe it has some sort of connection to the whole secret that Nintendo has teased would be found in low rule while playing in hero mode. Or maybe it has some sort of connection to the whole Majora's Mask stuff that Eiji Onuma has teased. But what would it be that would take a while to complete? And as a way for Nintendo to advertise their latest home console, the Nintendo Wii U, they have decided to expand their partnership with Norwegian Cruise Lines, where they will offer Wii U systems and Wii U games for people to try out fleet-wide. So that means the Wii U will be placed in every ship's atriums and youth in teen centers, and it will be featured in various competitions and events aboard each ship. And considering there will be families on these cruises, this is a good way for Nintendo to get people to try out their new system and potentially bring in some new customers. And finally is that Nintendo has made some new commercials for some of their upcoming games that include The Legend of Zelda, Link Between Worlds, Super Mario 3D World, and Mario Party Island Tour. If you want to check those out, there'll be links in the description below. But that will bring us to the end of this video. If you liked what you saw, please give it a thumbs up and add to your favorites and all that good stuff. You can stay tuned for more news videos, video reviews, and that's going to the crazy episodes. You can also check out the GamingPixelShow.com to follow along for some more 3DS and Wii news. But I'll talk to you later in the next episode, guys. Bye! Will that be tougher than donkeys? Well, according to Nintendo... Matt Ryan...